Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Expedition. And in today's episode, we are going to be taking advantage of some of the stuff we found in the last episode. Last episode, we found this atomic disassembler in a roguelike dungeon. And we are going to basically get, be getting set up to do that and doing some other stuff as well. So we find this, it doesn't actually come charged. So we're going to have to build some sort of way to charge it. And I think our best solution is going to be the energetic infuser right here. Uh, so we're going to need a few different things for that. We're going to need a leadstone energy cell frame, a basic machine frame, a couple of redstone transmission coils, some copper gears, and some, uh, what are they called? Redstone reception coils as well. So let me get all that stuff together, guys, and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, we have everything all ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and make that energetic infuser, and then I'm going to grab a couple energy conduits from over here. And I think we'll just put it like right here. I think this is a good spot for it. So let's put an energy conduit right there and put our energetic infuser down. That'll start charging up. And we'll just go ahead and turn off all of that stuff. There we go. While we're waiting for that to charge, I'm just going to put all my stuff back. And... It is all beautiful. What did I do with that atomic disassembler? Oh, it's in my hotbar. <laughs> I thought I lost it for a sec. Okay, so this is the atomic disassembler. It's basically a super tool, and it's going to take a little while to charge uh, because it stores quite a bit of energy. But once it's fully charged, it will mine just about anything that I could possibly want it to mine. While I'm waiting on that to charge, I want to also make an experience obelisk right here. This is from Ender.io, and we're going to need a few things for that as well. So we're going to need one, two, three solarium ingots, and then we'll also need this experience rod, which takes two more. So let's go ahead and make those first, and that's five gold and some soul sand. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll grab some soul sand as well. And we'll just throw those in the alloy smelter. And we're also going to need a machine chassis. So let's grab a copper ingot. Four of those and two redstone. Oh. There we go. And we'll need some iron bars. And some more iron iron. Do I have any more iron sitting in here? I don't think I do. Just go ahead and make some like that. There we go. And there we got the machine chassis. And that's basically it. Oh, and an energy. We're going to need some of this as well. And that's glowstone, gold, and redstone. So redstone, gold, and a piece of glowstone dust. Looking good. Okay. And we'll just put those in here. Those will smelt up. And once that's done, we should have everything we need to make this experience obelisk. Now, the nice thing about the experience obelisk is that it holds essentially an infinite amount of experience, uh, which is quite useful. Oh, I need that. There we go. So let's make the experience rod. And... There we go. We have the experience obelisk. And this will be useful for storing our levels. So, if we store like that, that'll work. And now you can see our levels were drained. Now to take stuff out, it's just as easy. We can hit retrieve all and take them all. Or we can do it in increments of 10 or however we want to do it. But long story short... That is going to store all of our experience for us. Uh, although I think I'd rather have it right here. I like it better there. Okay. So there's that. Let's check on our atomic disassembler and see how that's doing. Looks like it is fully charged, which is fantastic. And this thing will inst pretty much instamine 
uh, most materials. Maybe not wood, but like cobble, it's pretty quick. Dirt, it will instamine. I mean, all in all, it's a very good gathering tool. I also want to make another machine here, the painting machine. Oh, but I need... I keep forgetting that I need nether quartz for that. Um... You know what? Let's just run into the nether real quick and steal some quartz. Probably a terrible plan because we've got nether ores and the pigmen will all be angry at me. But I need the nether quartz. I'm sorry, guys. You, uh... You go down there. Oh! Oh, please don't! Oh, no! Oh, I still have my flint and steel in my hand. Oh, thank goodness. That could have been disastrous. Uh, if I didn't have this, I would be in quite a pickle right now. So. Okay. He's, he doesn't seem to be mad. Let's, let's gather this stuff if we can. Looks like we can't get it from here. I'll take a little bit of the soul sand. And we'll just jump up. There we go. I'll take that. Is there anything else over here that I can make use of? I haven't seen any nether quartz yet, unfortunately. Oh, but that's a cinder. I don't want to mess with him at the moment. He's... He's nasty. He'll get me. And it will be bad. Uh, let's do this. I want to get this Viroxasaur. This stuff can be used to make some really useful things. Mithril is also really good. You can use that to make some pretty awesome tools. This cinder is going to cause me problems unless I get rid of him. There we go. He's dead. Okay, anything over here? No? Oh, I do see some glowstone up there, though. That would be really useful to have more of. Um, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Now, the Atomic Disassembler, I don't know if it mines certain things the normal way. Oh, phantoms. Those are not cool. I dislike those very much. Where's the Oh, hello, Ghast. There he is. I missed. Boom! Gotcha. Look at that. That was a thing of beauty right there. Alright, we'll get this. We're gonna get some of these ores. Here's the test. Okay. So, it still angers the pigmen. Um... If I break that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. So it doesn't count as silk touch for the atomic disassembler. But it does work pretty well for most things. Let's just get up here a little bit closer so that I can actually break all of this. And the pigmen are all going to be very upset with me now, but that's okay. Can we get it? Oh, things are exploding. All right. I think that's going to be enough. That should be enough nether quartz for what I need. I don't need a ton. That's 24. That'll give me about... Uh, that'll give me like 48 nether quartz once I get out of here. That should do the trick. Let's get rid of this phantom. Oh, I don't like those things. Oh, and we have a, another cinder. Oh, the nether is such a nasty place in this mod pack. Oh, man. Okay, get him. Okay. Now I gotta figure out where I came from. Where did I come from? I think it was like over here. I think. I'm not entirely sure. I may already be lost. Um. I don't see my nether portal anywhere. I mean, it, I haven't explored that much of the map, so it can't be just anywhere. It's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, oh, what in the... Oh, and I'm withered. And that pigment is definitely chasing me. Oh, problems. Problems and another cinder. That is totally not what I need right now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Run away, run away. 
I don't think the pigment's chasing me anymore, so that's good. Let's eat some food so I can regenerate some health. But I really need to find my nether portal. I don't know where I put it. I don't know where it went. Um, and the pigmen are all mad at me. This is not good. This is not good at all. There's another cinder. These things are also really bad. That's also from Lycanite's mobs. And I am hurting, so I really can't run. Which is... A problem. Are we okay? I think we might be okay. You know what I should do? Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna hide in a hole for a minute. Why? There we go. Okay. Let me hide in the hole for a sec, guys. I'm gonna regenerate some health, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys. I am back, and I think we're good. My health is full. The pigmen are still not happy with me. But I was able to look at the map while I was in the hole, and I think I figured out where my nether portal is. Because there's the, there's the nether fortress. I think the nether portal is, like, right in here somewhere. Except I'm not seeing any torches on this nether fortress. So I don't know if this is actually the one that I explored already. That might be a different fortress. That would be... That... Okay. So maybe I'm lost. Let me look and see if I can find my way out of here, guys. I'll be back. Well, that's unfortunate. I seem to have died. <sighs> well, the good news is this means I will be able to find my way out of the nether... Which I was, uns which I was not really having any luck with before I died. So uh, maybe this is a good thing overall. Let's see here. Let's gear up. Um, actually, let's take this one instead. And I probably should take a little bit of food with me as well, and maybe some building blocks of some sort. There we go. And you know what? I need. A flint and steel. Just in case. Just in case. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is mark this so that I can actually find my way out. Let's call it portal. Okay. Cool. Now, where did I die? North. All right. So I died up there somewhere. Uh, can I get up there? I should be able to. Oh, okay. So I was actually really close to it. Whoa, whoa, pigment is... Oh, the pigment are not happy with me? Oh, man. Okay. Well, at least I know where I'm going now. Let's try this again. This is why it's good to have stockpiles of weapons. Oh, man. This is just not my day, is it? Okay. So, Nether Adventures. Gotta love it. I hope you guys are enjoying this mod pack. I'm having a blast with it. Um, I know it probably hasn't shown very much in the last couple episodes, given, given how many times I've gotten absolutely destroyed uh, by the nasty things in this pack, but... I am enjoying myself. I'm having a good time. Um, and I'm just batch recording because I'm having so much fun. So, ooh, ooh, kill him, kill him. Okay, let's get our stuff. Let's head. Ooh, he's angry. All right, he's dead. We need, oh, I hate these things. Okay. We need to get rid of the fire because that's where they spawn. That's where the cinders spawn, is in the fire. Okay, so we're good there. I can't mine those yet. And I died up there. Okay, so let's try and work our way up there. Let's just build like a little staircase. All right, guys, here we go. We made it. We're good to go. 
We're safe, I think. Let's grab our stuff. Oh, angry pigman. Angry pigman. Okay, do I have any bags with me? No, my bags are all still in here. Oh, man. No, not a good time, guy. Not a good time. Oh, man. I need... Golden bag of holding. There we go. That's what we needed. Now I can just dump all my stuff in here. Get away from me, bat. Man. These guys are everywhere. They are all over me. Okay. I'm gonna grab my toast. And I'm gonna head back down. I think I'm good to get out of here, guys. I'll meet you back at the base. Alright, guys. We have made it back. Barely. Barely. But we've made it back. So we're going to go through the portal, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to deactivate the portal as well, just so nothing can come through it, uh, because otherwise, things will come through it, and they will kill me. So, easiest way to do that for the time being, I can probably set up some sort of system to do this later, is to just take a water bucket, touch the obsidian block, place down the water, and that will break the portal. And that way, nothing nasty can come through. All right, so now we have everything back. I do have some organizing to do, as you can see, so let me get that done, and I'll come right back to you. All right, guys, I am back. So we got everything organized. Now, I do want to go ahead and start turning some of this nether quartz into regular quartz, which we'll do right here. Uh, I also want to make sure that that quartz doesn't get sucked in, so I'm just going to take that side and turn it to off. Because I want the actual quartz. And then in here, we're cooking up some other good stuff. Electrical steel. And electrical steel is basically pulverized coal, iron ingots, and then silicon. And you get silicon by pulverizing sand. So, pretty easy to make. Nothing too extraordinarily difficult. Uh, oh, come back, you. And I've basically put everything together here. So we've got our machine chassis. We've got electrical steel. And then we're going to need some of this nether quartz. And one diamond. And that will allow us to make the painting machine that I've been talking about now for a couple of episodes. And just haven't gotten around to making because I didn't have the nether quartz for it. And I think we're going to put that right... Mm, let's put it right here. Why not? This will do. And just like that. There we go. And basically what this thing will let us do is make conduit facades. So if you look at them, they look kind of like... Uh, the, yeah, here we go. Conduit facades. And basically those will disguise conduits. Uh, looks like I don't actually have any exposed conduits at the, mor at the moment, but I'll just show you. It's pretty, pretty easy. Uh, we'll just do that, and let's say we want to disguise a conduit as this cobblestone wall texture that we're using, right? We put a conduit facade in. Let's just put one in, and we put the cobblestone on there, and this is kind of the block that it will be painted as. And there we go. We now have the conduit facade. And that's what it looks like. Now, the cool thing about those is we apply them to conduits. So, for example, say you've got this, uh, say you've got a row of conduits coming across like that. And this one would be display. This one would be like showing. And you don't want it to be. You can just put it right there. And it will show up as a regular block. So it helps you kind of keep everything looking tidy and... All that kind of good stuff. Uh, so that's something that I wanted because we're going to need that as we branch out into more and more technical machines. Now, I think everything is good. This stuff should all be pulverized now so we can change this back to pull. There we go. And I will just go ahead and put this stuff away. And guys... I think that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. 
You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.